Hi everyone, my name is Salia and welcome back to Hustle Season. Today's video is all about how I annotate my books. Why do I annotate, you ask? I like that it increases my reading time to about double and really helps solidify the story in my mind. As someone who rarely rereads books, it really just lets me mark my territory and move on. Growing up, I always had a great appreciation for the alphabet. It had always come supernaturally to me, and I had picked up reading and writing much faster than most other students my age. And that passion for writing and wanting to continue to write never really left. As I grew older, it was harder to find outlets for me to channel that energy into. And then I came across annotating and I realized it really allowed me to explore that passion further. Stopping in the middle of reading to underline a particular sentence or just jot down a note has really helped me appreciate the small things in life and just take that time for myself to slow down and really live in the present. But that's enough talking for me. Let's get down to it. I'll start by showing you my supplies. The first thing I always have with me when I annotate is my water bottle just to stay hydrated. It's really easy to just get lost in what you're doing and having a dry mouth while reading or annotating I find just gets in the way. Next you're going to want to have a bag or some sort of like pencil case to carry your items in. I'm showing you here four examples of different stuff you can have. The yellow one is flatter, probably easier to put in your bag. The crayons come with their own box so that's an option you could consider. The pink one that's kind of smushed I've had since I was like two years old so it definitely lasts a really long time. And obviously a Ziploc bag if you can't find anything else would also work or if you don't want to go out and buy something new. So my favorite pens to use are just really any free ones that you can pick up at events I find work the best um, so I have a couple here this is from school this one's from Feminem which was a conference this is from one of the hotels on elective yeah some don't even work. This is part of the charm I find. Next, you're gonna want some post-its or something to tab with, essentially. Now here, I just happen to get a bunch of these little ones from an Owl Crate box. I personally prefer when I have the large pads and I can just rip it up so that each tab is unique in size and shape, but I'm just gonna work with what I have today and feel free to customize how you want. Obviously, everybody kind of picks their own color scheme and like what each color means. I use the green stars for lines that I would like to plagiarize. I use this for shocking events. Next, you're gonna want some type of ruler. Now, I personally like to use scrunched up receipts. I find the more crumpled it is, the better, because then you kind of get a squiggly line effect when you are trying to underline it. I and mean, I personally like that aesthetic the most, although you can probably get a ruler from anywhere. But yeah, I personally think that even the texture and just the shape of the line that you get with crumpled receipts, um, by far, I feel like has been the best. I keep this binder thing with pictures that I keep inside that I'd like to add sometimes to spruce up my books. Um, I have scissors in case I need them. I have some stickers. I also have some tape. I personally don't like glue because it ruins the texture of your pages. Now I bought this washi tape for $25.99 so I did invest a little to get quality tape but any dollar store tape, clear tape, would also work perfectly fine. Okay we're just about done here so the last things you're gonna need is a book that you want to annotate and then I always personally keep a lighter nearby just in case I mess up I can burn my mistake but obviously if you're underage, maybe don't use that. So yeah, let's just get started then. So here I have a book that I'm currently reading, um, Monster High Freaky Fusion. So here's a sentence that I personally wanted to underline. So Gulia emerged from the catacombs and catacombs and rushed toward the school. Panting and out of breath, she burst through the stage door. I just think it's really great wordplay, so I'm gonna go ahead and underline it with my receipt ruler, and then I'll add one of my tabs uh, that I usually use for fun wordplay. So here I've chosen red just because it gives the most contrast with this type of paper, but here we go. And there you have it. I've underlined what I wanted. I'm just gonna add a tab. And sometimes I also just like to further note what I liked about it. So, wow, word play. Okay, and there we go. That's kind of the, what the finished item will look like. 
So sometimes I actually even prefer one cover to another. So here I have one of my favorite childhood series, Madison Finn, and then obviously Mary Kate and Ashley. So I've always liked Mary Kate and Ashley a bit more than Madison Finn, um, even though the writing's probably a bit better in Madison Finn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a cover swap because I actually think based off of the storylines that it might look a bit better if I swap the covers. So another technique that I use when I annotate is just called blacking out. Um, so sometimes if I don't like something that a character says or if something's problematic, I'll just black it out and pretend it never happened. So this was uh, one of the first books where I blacked something out. The entire ending for this book I was very angry about and so I'll just show you how I blacked out. So chapter 50 of Allegiant um, was one that I was very angry about and I'm just gonna show you how I black it out. For now I'm actually just gonna use a crayon. I like to use black but any dark color would work here. So you take the page, I usually just make a square around what I don't want. So here I'm gonna do the whole thing. And then once you do that you just start coloring it in. Here, as I was reading The Halfling's Gem, there was a scene that talks about a silver dragon. Um, so me and Zoe often talk about dragons. Um, so I thought that I would just put a picture of Zoe here just to remind myself that this is like a fun inside joke that we have. So like I said, I have this little folder where I keep pictures of me and Zoe. So here I have this photo of Zoe. I'm just gonna cut it out and then paste it into the book. bit big so As always, please like this video if you found it useful, subscribe if you like my content, and let me know down below what annotating means to you. And I will see you next time. Bye. I wanted to do a get real portion where I actually tell you my thoughts on annotating. I have only ever annotated once and it was more of an attempt than an actual successful annotation endeavor. But basically I was reading one of, I was reading one Dimple Met Rishi and I thought that I would just like underline parts that actually made me laugh out loud. And I think I underlined two sections and then I lost the pen that I was using and I was specifically using an orange one. Yeah and then I just gave up and stopped. <laughs> Obviously, like, I don't think annotating is stupid. I just think it's a waste of time and it brings me no happiness, so I don't do it. But I am, like, the opposite of detail-oriented and, I mean, like, I've been reading for how many years now and I can't tell you in any given year how many books I've actually read. So for me, trying to annotate would just be way more of a chore than actually enjoyable. That being said, I think it's kind of cool, the people who do invest the time, because at least at the end of it, you have some sort of objective item that you can show for it with a bit of sentimental value. So I think it's cool if you can do it. I was trying to think like if I ever were to get into annotating what would I do and I think the only thing that I would potentially do because I semi kind of do it is there are tons of quotes that I like and that would probably be the only thing that I'd want to revisit from the books that I've read. So I've tried different things at the moment I usually just take a picture of a quote that I really like but in the past like when I was on Tumblr I would just type out the quotes that I like 
liked. That would probably be the closest I would come to annotating. So yeah. <laughs> Obviously if you annotate or feel some type of ways about it and want to let me know, please do down below. Or you can link me to your own how I annotate video and I will watch and appreciate. <laughs> Bye!